Hey everyone, Quasar here bringing you the fourth part of my blind playthrough of the Outer Worlds. In the last episode we started the Radio Free Monarch quest and we ended the episode by clearing out the Devil's Peak station of Marauders and by making contact with Hiram, the information broker. Hiram has tasked us with stopping the broadcast coming from the Iconoclast and the MSI. Amber Heights is home to the Iconoclast and Stellar Bay for the MSI. I don't think it matters which faction I start with, but since I've already visited Stellar Bay, I'm going to head there first. By the way, if you're enjoying this series, please leave a like and subscribe. I'm working hard to get better and put out more content and your support is the best motivation that I could have. Now that we're out of the station, we can finally fast travel. Could I get another advance? Well, new business turns up at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? Whoa. You've often posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. That's very generous of you. Celia, will you make a note of that for my self-review? Very generous. Noted. But not so generous I can't drive a good bargain. Now, who sent you? Rizzo's, perhaps? Or Auntie Cleo herself? I need you to shut off your broadcasts. G oh. I suppose that means you aren't here for the Saltuna. Afraid not. Shame. I'd been saving a bottle of iceberg aged whiskey for an occasion like this. I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. What exactly are you hoping to accomplish? Thanks to the so called hazard clause. Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for 10 years now. So-called is right. We've got our hazards, but we're still here, damn it. The board took off without so much as a thought for the folks left behind. Something to be said for perseverance. I endeavor to persevere myself. Well, we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. And you're tired of scratching and scraping by, is that it? Yes, freedom is a tempting ideal, but a rather costly paramour. Exactly. Intellectualism fuels the train to mankind's future, but the tracks the train runs on are forged from practicality. I don't know what intellectualism means, but if someone's willing to build us a few practical things around here, I ain't gonna judge them on account of their beliefs. Yes, it's as though the good vicar has plucked the very words from my brain. So what do you mean to do about it? Well, Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. Returning to the board is your only chance if you hope to survive here on Monarch. That doesn't mean it'll be easily achievable. Indeed not. No worthwhile plan was ever simple. That's what I always say. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. Enough preamble. What's the plan? It's a two-pronged approach. The first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. Fine, but how do you mean to do that? With a Bolt 52 cartridge, of course. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting with the Bolt 52, we won't need to advertise anymore. We can stop our transmissions altogether. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. Where do I find one? In the old arms building southwest of town, 
which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. These days it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. I'll see what I can find. So taciturn, so dour. I'll be waiting with bated breath. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Sure. Bye. Hold on to your hats, children. This ride is about to get ugly. Raptodons. I'm fine with these. As long as it's not the Manti Queens, I'm good. I'm just going to focus on getting long guns and sneak up to a hundred before working on anything else. This is really not good. The Colossus was munching on him before I engaged. Sanjar wanted the files deleted because he got a bad review. It fits his character well.
We are never short supplies in this game. You find so much just lying around. I don't think they figured that out yet. Who are you? Oh, thank the Eternal. I'm Huxley. Ah, uh, Hux if you're lazy. I'm stuck. My friends and I were scavenging here and a Mad Queen showed up. Then Rathodon, who's a void blasted mess. I ran in here and... Um, now the door's locked. Little help? Well, I need to get in that room. I think I found it. Oh, much obliged. Ah, oh, phew. Thank you so much. It was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was gonna die. Now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. Still landing yourself in trouble, eh, Hux? Oh, hi, Nyoka. Um, you mind giving me an escort back home? I'm. Oh. You're traveling with someone. Never mind. You sure you're okay to travel? Oh, sure. I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy and... Hey, who is your identical, slightly blurry friend? Good luck. Thanks a lot, mister. Can I please just click on where I want to travel? Please, game. If I hear you say survival of the fittest one more time, I'm gonna lose it. Well, I see you've had a sobering effect on our friend Nyoka. Sir, please stop. Forgive me, Celia. I couldn't help myself. Anyway, what can I do for you? I found the cartridge and deleted that data for you. Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. Try to control yourself, sir. Have you any idea how powerful this is? Corporations have been toppled with less. How exactly is the data cartridge going to help? What a question! Bureaucratic micromanagement is the only way anything gets done in Halcyon, and proper documentation is a key part of that. For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. So you do want to go against the board. Don't be ridiculous. What Mr. Nandi means is that we have some rather momentous information to deliver to the board. Or we will, with your help. I'm listening. I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch, illegally and in secret. Mr. Nandi may be correct. If the masses learn that the board disregards their own ordinances, it'd give rise to dissent. MSI could use this information to their advantage. If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. Sanjar, you sly dog. Do you really think so? I admit I've been hatching this scheme for quite some time. I just needed someone capable to help me carry it out. If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. I know how to make people talk. Oh, I imagine you do. 
But as much as I love your can-do attitude and dangerous gravitas, Catherine handles all of our shipments. So it would be best if you could leave her in one piece. Is that how you people put it? Watch it with the you people. Of course. I didn't mean to make assumptions. Once you uh, subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its operation. Maybe some nice letterhead. Or someone working there. That would do it. Infiltrate a secret corporate base and kidnap the staff. Sure. Easy. A foolproof plan if I ever heard one. I'll leave the execution to you. I've got to go. It's an upgrade over the one that I have, and I can give mine to Nyoka. Arthur today? Uh-huh. You blind fella? Or can you not see I'm busy? Why is it every sisty pig fucker who strolls into my town expects me to smile and shout awful friendly? Welcome to Fallbrook. Only nugget of paradise in this entire law-forsaken land. Like a void damn advert. Crude, but forthright. I admire that. Truthfully spoken, I do aim to properly represent my aforementioned Nugget of Paradise. If by Nugget of Paradise you mean piece of manti dung, then sure. You know, I ain't heard that one before. Suppose I'll have to work harder to show you just what makes our town shine. But first, I'll need to know what brings you, stranger. Well, I'm half listening. Sanjar said you know something about a corporation operating in secret on Monarch. Might be I know something about it. Might be someone hired my crew to blind drop supplies on the Northern Bridge. Might be they sure as shit weren't pirates. Now that I consider it, I ain't heard from my delivery team in far too long. Find them for me, and I'll pay you handsomely. I'll check it out. And I'll thank you kindly for it. That's enough for now. Catherine. There was another one of those. I'm glad I didn't join in on that last encounter.
I hadn't realized that I really haven't upgraded my armor much. This doesn't look that good, but it can't argue the stats. Understood. I'll keep my head down. Hello there. A word, if I may be so bold? Well now, here I thought those mantasaurs had peacefully exited the premises. But you're a simpler explanation. Thanks for the assistance. Name's Weston. Every once in a while, I set up shop along these here roads. You find yourself in need of resupply, you come on by. Care to purchase a thing or two? Show me what you have. Your merchant skill is equal to the value of your best dialogue skill and is used to navigate prices when buying and selling from vendors. Nothing of particular interest. Alright, so how do I get down there? I'm not sure I can survive if I just jump down on those rocks below. There must be an actual path somewhere, right? Maybe there's another path if I approach from the other side from Amber Heights. So we're on the other side of the bridge now. I'd stake my reputation on this being an ambush. Keep your guard up. Whoever got to them may still be nearby.
have to be careful with all these traps. Corrosive Weakness. Suffering too many corrosive burns has made you weak against corrosive damage. Corrosive damage received increased by 25%. This is similar to the Plasma Weakness flaw that I accepted previously. Again, the extra damage should not be that big of a drawback, so let's take this one. I already got the two tier 2 perks that I wanted. I'm not sure what else I want until I get to the tier 3 perks. Having the extra point from the flaw is still good because it gets me to the tier 3 perks faster. I suppose Harvester could be good. Nothing that really jumps out to me, so this should do. Stay back. I may be wounded, but I'm still armed. How'd you get past my traps anyway? Forget about that. What are you doing in this cave? Hiding from the marauders that hit us, obviously. Now your turn. Let me take a look at your wounds. That feels a mite better. Wish I had something to give you, but I gnawed through my last sprat worst an hour ago. Catherine told me some of her couriers had gone missing out here. Nice to know she cares. Catherine had us making drops for some big shot client out here. And before you ask, I don't know who they are. Or were. The whole point of making drops in the middle of nowhere was to keep their identity and whereabouts a secret. You think they're dead? The Marauders knew we were coming. Rigged the bridge with explosives and everything. If they found us, my guess is they found the client too. Where'd the Marauders go? Last I saw, they were heading back up the hill. You'll see it on the right when you get out of here. If you got the sand to go after him, I'm sure Catherine can reward you for your trouble. Me? I'm headed back to Fallbrook just as soon as I've caught my breath. This is a whole loot pile just for us. And we still have some more. My guy has no hops.
Bunch of creepy crawly sounds up ahead. It's a bit disappointing to see all of these Mark II weaponry, it's the exact same weapon just with better stats. Doesn't look or handle any different. It doesn't make it fun to find stronger weapons and armors if they look the exact same as the ones that were available at the beginning of the game. bad when you miss a precision shot when using TDD. Is that heavy machine gun any good? Not particularly special. Hopefully we're done with all of the MSI stuff to make them agreeable to shutting off the broadcast.
Who wants to play an impromptu tossball match? No one? Really? Thank you again for retrieving the bolt. It's every bit as complex as I'd heard, but I'm up to the challenge. Anyway, what can I do for you? I found a data cartridge with details of UDL's secret experiments. Excellent timing on your part. I worked my fingers to nubs, but I finally completed the Bolt 52 form. I dare say it will be my second greatest achievement after the reformations. You're getting ahead of yourself again. So I am. Do you have this cartridge? Here you go. I knew there was something going on. This is exactly the proof we need. The board will have to welcome us back now. I'll transmit this data along with the completed Bolt 52 right away. After that, we'll sit back and quietly wait for the board to respond. That means no more broadcasts from us. One down, one to go. Believe me, you've got your work cut out for you there. Was there anything else? I've got to go. Back to the dilemma of the perks again. I'm gonna go with weird science. It's a pretty big boost to science weapon damage. Not that I've used any so far, but in the case that we ever discover one, at least this makes them a bit more viable. I'm just trying to justify it to myself. I'm not really sure which perks to get until I get the third tier unlocked. It's an upgrade to armor and it adds an extra 5 points to the ranged weapon skills, that's quite nice. I'm gonna stop by Fallbrook to see if Catherine has anything for us since we investigated her drop point. Remind me never to get on Ms. Malin's bad side. Come for vice or virtue? Because we only sell one here. I found one of your sublight supply runners hiding in a cave. I'll presume you mean Arthur. The one you sent scurrying back like a sprat with his tail cut off? Reckon I'm happy he's alive. I'd be happier if the marauders who botched my drop were dead. That's enough for now. I think I'd rather continue on making progress with the main quest, so let's head to Amber Heights. Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please, take a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the Iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting we're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. You're offering me a pamphlet you don't have. I'm so sorry. It's a habit, I suppose. We used to have plenty, but we ran out of paper and ink. Ever since the corporations left, it's been hard to come by the basics. But you know what we do have? Freedom! This is the only place in Halcyon you'll find it. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. No problems? What about Raptodons? Or Marauders? Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. I'm here to talk to someone about your broadcasts. You've heard Graham's teachings. I'm so glad. 
He and Zora have done such a wonderful job spreading the light around this dark, dark planet. You can think of those two as our leaders, but they're more like examples. We all ought to be more like them. Where can I find them? Graham's place is in the large building straight back. Thor is sometimes there talking with him, but usually she's in the triage clinic next door. Got it. See you around, Rose. These Iconoclast people are really strange. The way they talk, the, the things they talk about, folk. and even the weird Turn hats right, on their heads. Do the same. Turn on them, they'll open fire without a second thought. Damn philosophists. A Manta Queen. Yeah. We felled it, mind. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Iconoclasts. I just need you to stop using Devil's Peak. Stop? No. Spreading the truth is the only way to combat the board's poisonous campaign of propaganda against their people. Your broadcasts aren't working. Nobody's listening. They can't be everywhere at once. Surely there are radios that still catch our message here and there. Surely. You are quite assured in the idea that any who hear your message will not immediately change stations upon realizing what utter rubbish it is. You're only transmitting on a single radio frequency and very few people can receive it. Graham, we should be focusing on survival anyway. Food, ammo, and medicine. Maybe now's the time to pivot. Pivot, huh? If radio isn't working, we might try another way. It seems the captain's timing is more than just serendipitous. It must be fate. I've had my sights on an old printing press for some time. The board uses magazines and advertisements to subtly focus the colony's attention. We will use their tricks against them. Wait, that's not what I meant. Help me clear out and repair the press, and I will have no need for that rust bucket of a radio tower. Sounds fair to me. Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... <sighs> Forget it. Huxley's still recovering. She won't be up for a run for a while yet. It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. Huxley? The runner from the Northern Ruins? I helped her get out of there. So you're her mysterious savior. She sings your praises. That girl and her songs. So eager to learn, so bright-eyed, so... tone-deaf. Where is the supplier? She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. Alright, I'll be back. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges? Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. Graham seems like an idiot. Zora at least knows what's important. It's sealed. Excuse me, but this area's off limits. We got a leaky generator. It ain't safe. That's my nice way of telling you to saw it off. 
We need to get inside. And I'm just gonna let you walk on in? Why is that now? Never mind. All right, you gonna saw it off already? I just want to know what's going on here. We're fixing a leaky generator. What's it to you? I'm supposed to meet someone here, that's what. Right, Carlotta. Yeah, she's inside. We got first rights though. As soon as we fix that generator, she's ours. Why are you after her? You'd have to ask the boss. I just know she wants Carlotta voided. Off I go then. So the only way that I can go inside is by paying 3,800 bits or do it the old fashioned way and just shoot my way in. I'll take advantage of a better position and at least a good sneak attack first. These guys didn't notice their buddies dying all around them. Relax, the sublight squad is gone. Relax. I've been cooped up in here for almost two days. Who are you anyway? I'm Quasar. Graham sent me to collect supplies. Oh, for finally. Tell Graham that this is the last run I'm doing. Sanjar's declared a stop sale to you lot, but even if he hadn't, I'm not risking my neck anymore. Thanks for clearing out those goons. Please don't kill me next. Graham ordered rollers and wetsits, right? For a printing press? Here, take them. Like I said, this is my last run. Why have you been helping Graham? It's an enviable thing he's doing. Free people and all that. I can't live that way. I need my structure. But I respect the Iconoclasts for doing it. Where will they get their supplies now? Law help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. I should go. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered? Zora suggested extra food and medicine. I always took that woman for the sensible type. Good on her. I'll send some along. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Don't go getting eaten. Damn philosophists. 
The folks in Amber Heights always manage to find a bottle or two of the good stuff. Keen scavengers, I tell you. I'm telling you, the Van Noys are fine. Bullshit, Graham. They don't just abandon orders, and they weren't at the ruins. Where in this sulfur-sodden hellhole did you send them? They're on a very important... Ah, we'll continue this later. Welcome back, Captain. I got your rollers. The rest of your account went to food and medicine. Thank the Eternal that someone's got some sense in their head. Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? She isn't. Sanjar has declared a stop sale on goods to the Iconoclast. That is most unfortunate. This cuts off one of our only two supply lines on Monarch. Sanjar, old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. About to? That idiot just declared war. I... we will deal with his subversion later. For now, we must redouble our efforts to spread the truth to the colony. What's next? I've already sent a team ahead to scout the press. One of our best. Meet them there and find out if they've been successful. You sent the Van Oys there, didn't you? Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham! We needed them in the ruins! Our people died out there! They went willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements. We need new recruits. The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. The written word can be quite effective, but losing your flock seems counterproductive. I have the utmost confidence in their abilities. Friends, we must have faith that the men and women we recruit can handle the duties for which we recruit them. You could have sent them after to back Zora up, right? Yes, you're damn right he could have. But he's so obsessed with preaching that he's become blind to our actual problems. Look, just... If the Vernois are still alive... Get them out of there. With Sanjar pressing the issue like this, I have a feeling we'll need them. I'll do everything I can. Of course, there would be a second part for the Iconoclast as well. Is it true that Manta Queens devour their mates after copulation? Yeah, well, sort of. They kill them, but they leave the body till their swarm hatches and eats Oh good, it's Marauders this time. Is their father. Makes one appreciative he wasn't born a Mentosaur. Slimy man like you might fit in just... Here we go! Shouldn't have stood in our way. I wonder what secrets these ruins contain. 
Don't bother knocking on any doors. If anyone's inside, they're liable to respond with gunfire. He did a good job dancing before he died. Hey, it's the twins. Surprised you two needed backup. Looks like your path's at an end. Talk to me. Nioka, you're a sight right now, I'll tell you what. We are up a creek. I bet. You really come this far north for a printing press? Yeah, I know, I know, but... That's the mission. Don't suppose y'all are busy right now. Zora sent me to look for you guys. Once I get you out safe, I'll see about that press. Thank the Eternal. We could use a hand. But we can't leave without patching these guys up. Acker here is bleeding out and Jensen can't see straight. Our medic has got our trauma kit, but we got separated. We ain't seen him in a couple of hours. Any idea where he went? Yeah, on account of giving him the order. He's searching the old settlement to the north of the press. Got it. I'll see if I can find him. Here we go. to prevail. Go. Oh damn. If I retreat back I can get the red noise to help me out. Oh, 
It didn't work out as well as I was hoping it would. Jeez, I really thought he was dead. Physical damage weakness. Taking too much physical damage has made you soft and vulnerable to more physical damage. Physical damage received increased by 25%. Alright, let's add physical to plasma and corrosive damage flaws. Thankfully, this is the last perk before we unlock the tier 3. I'm just gonna go with faster sprint speed. Not the greatest perk, but I don't know what else to put it into right now. Any luck out there? Found your trauma kit. Your medic is dead. Oh, fuck. Well, that's better than nothing. Thanks. We'll head out as soon as we're patched up. I should have thought a bit more about that. They would have been useful. There's definitely going to be enemies inside that printing press that they could have helped with. I haven't even looked in a while to see if I have any better weapons that I should be using. I should upgrade Max to that shotgun. I didn't realize that was a shotgun. I prefer not to use that. That's the last of them. Solid. The machine gun has good DPS when there's a bunch of them. Calm down, Nyoka.
nicely done. Here they all come. I don't think that's important. Need to be outside of the building to be able to fast travel. been paying attention to the extra consumable slots that I have. I should be using better consumables in those slots. Starting to use Adreno a bit more now, so it's probably a good thing to optimize it a little bit. Hopefully we're going to be done with the Radio Free Monarch quest after this. It's certainly been a long one. If you'll just listen... No! No more listening! No more preaching! We are losing people left and right! We need to act! Enough, Zora. I'm not putting the torch to innocent people. Do you want to bring the board's cruisers and gunships down on us? Captain, apologies, but our situation grows dire. Our people talk of foolish endeavors. What news do you bring? The printing press is all yours. Excellent. Did you find the Vanois? Lucky indeed. Thank you. We're one step closer to bringing the truth to every man, woman, and child in Halcyon. 
This plan's brilliance is in its subtlety. For the time being, let us cease our activities on the tower, lest we bring premature attention upon us. I have much to do. Articles to write, sermons to ponder. We live in such an exciting time. Let's talk later. Hey, I need to see to the wounded, but drop by the clinic when you can. I want a word. Going to get our first 80 points skill with long gun. It'll unlock no weapon sway for 5 seconds after each kill. Nayoka and Max have some perks. I haven't been using their abilities at all. I guess I'll go with the extra 20% damage to creatures. They are a pretty annoying enemy type to fight. We don't have any science weapons, so that is pointless. Let's give him Jazz Hand, seems like the only useful one for me. I definitely don't think I've been using my companions to the best of their abilities, but at least we made it this far. Do you hear that? It's the blessed sound of radio silence, which leads me to believe you have sweet, sweet news for me. MSI and Iconoclast are no longer transmitting. Is the data ready? Yes, indeed. I am back in business. But before we get down to it, might I ask how you handled the problem? In the end? Does it matter? Job's done. Hmm, is that so? You're an information broker. If you want to know, it'll cost you. Oh, I believe it will. But the price I pay won't be to you. No, we've a bigger deal to settle. I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser, and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver so I can input the needed adjustments. Fine. Tell me how to fix it. It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. Got it. Terrific. I'll be here. Waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you. After everything we've gone through so far, I really hope it's as easy as it sounds. Happily, I won't bother you again. Look, I am well aware that at times I may have the tiniest iota of a prickly exterior, but I must admit I have grown rather fond of you. As Nioka can attest, I do not form attachments with many. Do take care. Why, he told us to leave without flinging insults at our persons. He really does like you, Captain. What in the void blasted hell is that? Whose ship was that? Looks like a UDL ship. Based on the gunnery attachments, I guess it's one of the board's blockade enforcers, but don't cite me on that. Oh well, a pity for the crew, but I can't see how it affects me. Hiram? 
Can you hear me? Did you see that? Architect saved me from swindlers and fools. Sanjar, what are you bloody doing on my channel? Did MSI or did MSI not cease broadcasting? Yes, but... Hiram. Hiram, are you there? Will someone explain what's going on? Ah, the good captain. The truth brings us together once more. Our salvation has come crashing through the stratosphere. We need only collect its weapons. Are you mad? That's a UDL gunship. You'd probably shoot your own toes off. Surely we can talk this over. Ah, I see you learned nothing while dealing with these buffoons. We could use the gunship's armaments to defend Stellar Bay, but we need its targeting module. Our message is so close to breaking free of this planet and spreading to the stars. Help us secure that module and we will save our colony. Listen, I don't care a single whit what you do, so long as you leave me out of it. Which means, get off my bored damn channel! I'm more than finished with you lot. So we're still not done with this quest. started up another new quest, Can It's Cradle. We're going to have to go to the ship and take the targeting module and probably decide which faction we want to give it to. Before we do that, I really want to finish up the Radio Free Monarch quest. We need to speak with Phineas to proceed further. I really hope this is the last step. A reminder to all crew members, there is only one toilet on the ship. This is actually the first time we're going to go and meet with Phineas since he revived us. We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself, or would you like to do the honor? I think I'll take Parvati and Nyoka. Max and Nyoka don't get along too well, it seems. Let's see what upgrades we have for Parvati. Well, the extra TDD would be nice if I figure out how to use their abilities at some point. She looks like a proper tank. <clears throat> Hello? Can you hear me? Is this one? I'm just securing my ongoing experiments. And securing myself. Mind the mess, sir. I haven't had a visitor since... Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. You. I'd clap you on the shoulder if I weren't behind a wall of bulletproof glass. I don't know how you did it. But Hiram Blythe just sent me everything I needed. According to Hiram's message, Minister Clark has ordered a suspicious amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Typical elitist. Hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. Once I have those chemicals, we can revive the Hope's colonists and put some decent people in charge. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium and stealing those chemicals. Exciting. You make it sound so simple. Oh, I understand it must seem impossible to you. Infiltrate Byzantium, the crown jewel of the colony. Steal a batch of rare chemicals from a heavily guarded estate. In order to do the impossible, you must first divide it into a series of smaller less impossible tasks. So, what's the plan? Ah, yes, the details. I'm not about to ask you to rampage through Byzantium trading bullets with the board's agents. We'll have to resort to subterfuge. Carmen Imagawa. She's my contact in Byzantium. Meet her at the docks. She'll have all the necessary intelligence you require. I'm giving you my old nav key to Byzantium. You'll need it to land in the Golden City. Remember, you're looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Big 
green bubbling vessel with a warning label. I'll take as much as you can find. Find Carmen Imagawa, Steel Chemicals. Got it. Science weapons are unique weapons that have strange and powerful effects. Science weapon damage and the strength of their effects both increase as your science skill is increased. Pretty low DPS. I'm sure we could have napped this earlier and it would have been more useful then. I see you found my portable molecular compression device, better known as a shrink ray. This should be a pretty good upgrade for Parvati. He has little reminders everywhere. Alright, so our next step will be to figure out if we want to go to Byzantium or complete that faction quest. Again. Now that we're finally done with the Radio Free Monarch quest, this is a good place to end this episode. I appreciate you guys joining me for another one. If you haven't already, please hit that like button and subscribe. That support from you guys means everything to me. I can't wait to bring you even more content in the future. I hope to catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.